Hello everyone and welcome to Timberborn! This is the first episode of the new Mega Build series. In this season we're going to be walking through how I make the Mega Builds and you guys are going to get to see all the behind the scenes footage for it. And then at the end of the season we will have a complete Mega Build for your viewing pleasure. We're going to be starting a new game with the Iron Teeth. So let's get going with that. We're going to be doing it on the smallest map of Diorama. And then for these mega builds, I always do them on easy because it's really more about the building than it is trying to survive. So we'll go ahead and start that up. And right off the bat, we're going to pause this because we want to make sure the beavers have some time to get all of the first building set up. We're going to get some berries collected and then also get some lumberjacks set up as well as we want to get some water pumpers. So we have the first few buildings set up. We do want to also get some water storage set up as well. And all of the infrastructure that you see right here is going to be temporary because we're going to be doing a little bit of rearranging of the map itself. There's going to be some terraforming that happens, but that probably won't happen for quite a while. I already have another world of this exact map set up and I designed it how I want this one to look. So I'm going to be using that as a blueprint for when I'm designing this. I have a bunch of screenshots of the other world and so it's going to help guide me. And that one I made on creative mode so I was able to place everything in. If you click Alt Shift and Z at the same time you can enter that like this and then you can spawn stuff in but that's not what I use for these mega builds. These I do completely on my own. I'm not going to be using any mods for this one. We're just going to be going with everything we have in the default game. And before we get too far into the video, we do have a big announcement. We just passed 950 subscribers, which means we are getting really close to hitting 1,000 subs. And for my 1,000 subscriber special, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. So leave any comments that you have about the channel, Timberborn, or myself. I'll do my best to answer as many questions as I can. And for this entire series, if you become a channel member, you will have early access to all of these videos. And if you do that, you will help support the channel. But if you want to support the channel in other ways, be sure to subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. Anything and everything you guys do is appreciated. So I haven't done anything like this before, doing a mega build and also recording gameplay in between the cutscenes. So if you've seen any of my previous mega builds, you notice that it looks like this for all of them. I get rid of the HUD and then I basically just... Uh, design what I want the beavers to build, make sure they have the resources for it, and then just start recording and let them build. And then at the end of it, I save that clip and then I store up a bunch of those and then piece them together into a mega build. So this series is going to be everything between those clips. I imagine you guys will probably have some questions about how I do the mega builds, so leave a comment down below on any questions you have. I'll do my best to answer all of them. So we just got through the first clip and we have set up the farm. We have a couple of inventor sets set up as well. And we're not going to be too concerned about resources, at least not food and water. They don't go through a whole lot on easy mode. But we are going to be a little bit concerned about wood because we're going to be using a lot of wood on this mega build. And so we'll want to get this area irrigated. So we'll need to set up some fluid dumps. But first thing, we'll need to get a lumber mill and then get a forester set up. We're also going to get some wood storage set up because we don't want them to not be chopping wood at any point. And then for the lumber mill we're going to put it over here and then we're going to be using some of the bad water power to power that. So for now we're going to get a dam set up and then we just have to probably get rid of these so we can connect the path in. So we're up to 100 science. I just finished another set of b-roll which means we can get the forester set up so we're going to unlock that and place this right here. We still need to make some planks though, so we're gonna get these water wheels set up and then we'll have the first lumber mill right here. And then we're gonna make sure we diversify our trees a little bit because we don't want all the wood growing up at once. We wanna kinda spread it out. And since the birch and pine take nine days and 12 days respectively, we're gonna plant those. And then once we start irrigating over here, we can plant some more oak. We do have a lot of food set up and I am seeing some beavers sitting on their butts. So let's go ahead and increase the amount of workers in the farmhouse. We will need to get some storage set up as well. So let's do a medium warehouse right here. And then we'll have this set to kohlrabi. So we have that set up. We should probably also set up maybe a small warehouse for berries. We'll do a couple of those right here. 
So right now I'm not following my blueprint really at all. I'm just trying to get some of the basics set up. I am making this power station over here because I know I will be doing some of the production over in this area. There's going to be some of the production on top of this river, which I'm going to shift it around a little bit. Some of these buildings we don't need to prioritize like these storages. We don't need to focus on that as much. I do want to get this forester set up, but we need to make sure they have this built as well. So we'll bump that up. And then at some point we will need to start getting some houses in order. And we can start pausing some of these guys since they aren't doing anything. We really could relocate. Let's do, we'll get rid of this one and this one for now. And then we'll move a couple of them up here. And we're almost at 100 science, and I think that's enough to unlock stairs. So we'll get one set up right here that will expand the range of this guy so we can plant everything down here. But we don't need to worry about this quite yet. Once again, lower on the priority list because this guy will have plenty to plant up top. I am going pretty ham on planting the pine down here. One thing that we'll also need to keep in mind is that there will be bad tides. I don't think they're as frequent as in normal mode. And it does take several cycles before they start to show up. So we won't need to worry about that for a while. But in my design, I do have a way to divert the bad water. The general layout is going to be, we're going to raise up some terrain blocks over here and then have a big zigzagging stream bed, if you will. But it's not really going to be a stream bed. There's going to be like several locks. So we'll go around and then back and then it will come down the river. And we're going to be building a bunch of stuff on top of it so you won't really be able to see the water that much. And since it's a small map, we're going to be using every square inch of this space that we can. We have a few vacant jobs. I just paused some of the lumberjack flags because we have them pretty spread out. We also don't need quite as many builders because there's not that much wood going around. I think it might honestly be worth getting rid of these and then placing in some platforms instead because this will be moving and so we'll get some planks. The sooner we finish this forest or the quicker we can start planting trees and make sure we get our wood production underway. And we're almost at 100 science which will allow us to unlock these and then we can start placing these platforms across here. Something I'll also need to do is pick out the background music for the mega build. I normally do three songs but that kind of depends on the length of the video. So we just completed the Forester and we also hit 100 Science. So let's go ahead and place these platforms across. This will allow us to build these right here. And then in the future we'll probably get rid of these, place some other ones over here, and then put in some more water wheels. But for now I think just having these three water wheels will be enough to power this building and then probably another gear workshop. And now we're going to get into a tree planting time lapse. So it has been a few days. We have quite a few trees planted. And then we also got some of the basic setup, including housing. We have a campfire, and then we also have a rooftop terrace over here. We do need to put in some more water wheels because I had to get rid of them in order to get some extra wood to complete those projects. It looks like we do have quite a bit of wood, and we have some unemployed beavers as well. And then we also reached a new well-being score, and we have some more planks. So when doing the time lapses, I can't see any of these updates that appear, so I have no idea how much water, food, or wood we have. So I had to plan ahead a little bit before entering into time-lapse mode. And now we have a bunch of science. I am going to take a look at some of the blueprints that I have laid out. So I'm going to be placing the first fluid dump up here. We are out of science right now. We don't have 250 required to unlock it, but we are going to have them start building this. So we'll need to get rid of this path and then reroute the beavers to go up this way instead. And then in the future, I'm going to actually be building up some of this level with terrain blocks, but we're a ways away from unlocking dirt for now. And I have all of this set up, which I actually don't want them to be building all this. That's also just showing where some of the terrain blocks are going to be in the future. We do actually have some homeless beavers, so let's go ahead and get another barrack set up. We'll just keep it over in this area. So this map is probably going to be actually a little bit more difficult than some of the previous mega builds because in the other ones I'm able to build some of the production facilities kind of off site and so you weren't actually seeing where I was making all the goods that I used to make the mega builds. 
for this one I'm gonna be making all the production in the same area that the mega build is actually gonna be occurring so it's gonna be a little bit like musical chairs where I'm moving stuff around as the mega build evolves so we'll see how this turns out this is kind of an experiment that I'm trying out I'm also trying out doing the commentary and the b-roll for the mega builds it's kind of a lot to juggle but we'll see how it goes we should probably set up some plank storage and we can also unlock the fluid dump now so we'll get that placed right here and then connect it in with the path. We do have a couple unemployed beers, which is not a bad thing. And we still have quite a bit of water and food, even though we only have one farmhouse and one water pump at the moment. But it just kind of goes to show how much easier easy mode makes it. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of these lumberjacks that aren't very useful right now. So as soon as the water dumper starts dumping some water here, that should allow this forester to start planting some trees. And then I'm hoping that, yeah, it expands the range a little bit. Once we get some dynamite, and then we will be moving this back and then blasting out a nice 3x3 grid because as long as it's a 3x3, that is the optimal size to get water to irrigate the biggest radius possible. And then we have another water dump that we will be setting up here in the future. For now, we might just set up a temporary one right over here. So we'll go ahead and get this set up as well. But first we want to make sure that we have somewhere to contain the water. And then I think science is also going to be one of the limiting factors because we want to unlock a bunch of stuff, but we don't quite have enough science. So let's go ahead and get a couple more inventor sets set up. And now looking at the next steps, based on what we have right here, I think that the next thing we want to get is some metal. And since we have enough science, we're going to go ahead and unlock the scavenger flag. And then we'll get a few of those placed here and then we'll have these guys start collecting scrap metal. And then we're going to make a temporary smelter right over here and then use some of the water power to power that building. And since we have an science, we'll also get a smelter set up. And we once again have some homeless beavers, so let's go ahead and get some more housing set up. We still have a lot of wood, which is fantastic. Plus we have some more that's growing up and ready to be chopped down, which means that we can also get some more lumberjack flags set up. And we may as well throw one of the unemployed beavers into this lumber mill. And it looks like builders are in short supply. We have a few things that we're trying to get set up, which means that we should get a builder's hut set up. And we have enough signs for that. We can place it right here for now and high prioritize it. And so I think right now the biggest constraint is getting dynamite so that we can start diverting the river a little bit. And in order to get dynamite means we need to get some bad water pumps and we're gonna have some over here. But in order to get bad water pumps, we need to have some metal blocks. And it looks like we're actually pretty close to getting this set up, but we need some more gears. So we'll go ahead and unpause that. And we've got the additional builder's hut set up and you can see they're finally getting rid of some of these resources over here. We don't really need them. We have plenty of berries over here and we're going to increase the amount of trees that we have planted over here. That way we have a little bit more access to some wood. And for now we're gonna get a third forester over here and plant even more trees. We'll do some more oak. This area over here is eventually gonna be a farm, but we don't really need a whole lot of food at the moment. But for the aesthetics, we will have a nice pretty farm in the end. And with that, we're gonna wrap up today's episode. We got the foundation of everything set up. In the next episode, we're trying to get the smelter set up and then also get some bad water pumps. And hopefully we can get some dynamite created. Still, if you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. And be sure to leave your questions down below, either for how the mega builds work or for the 1000 subscriber special. Once again, in that 1000 subscriber special, I'll be answering all your questions on Timberborn, the channel, and myself. And with that, we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.